You know your problem? Yeah. If someone doesn't bring my BRT, I'm gonna puke. Nah. Yeah. I need to feed my hangover, man. I need to eat. You need a girlfriend. If you had one, you wouldn't be going to stupid strip clubs getting wasted. You're up, bro? Mm, yeah. I saw Claire before. Gave her the stern word about steering clear of strip clubs. She's all sorted and stuck there. It should be. Because the boss will go crazy if he finds out we lied. Well, we won't. Because we'll keep it to ourselves, won't we? You tell Hamish, eh? Brother? Doc? Who's having the taste of sandwiches? Oh, ah, that'll be me. Oh! I'm so sorry. Right. <laughs> Mate, this is not your day. <laughs> I'll get someone to clean it up. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what are you waiting for, mate? Digging? <laughs> is one of those safe? No. Can you put one in, please? Because Jack doesn't like Chardonnay. This is all we've got. I'm fine with Chardonnay, don't worry. I'm really enjoying this. It's so nice to be able to cook for my family and Jay. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Probably Hamish. Hamish Flynn. Hi, come in. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Uh, Sam Blanc, I hope that's okay. It's perfect. How are you? Oh, good, thanks. Good. Mm. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sorry, did I forget to mention I'd invited Hamish? Yes, I think you did. Oops. I'm not imposing, am I? Not at all. I'll just put on some more veggies. managed to look over that revised protocol yet? DVT management, um, the revised protocol. Ah, oh, that, yeah, right, yeah, all signed off. Oh, efficiency plus, great. Yeah, well, I thought it was about time that I made an effort. Andrew, you get home okay last night? Oh, finally. Sounds like things got pretty wild after you left. Oh, yeah, what happened? Oh, ask Mark. I better get going. This trolley has never looked stable to me. It needs more wheels. Exactly. Yeah, I'll put it right, eh? Okay. Wow. Oh. Mmm. But munted some of this. You're going to have to start again, I think. Oh, no, I just sell it cheaper. People love sales. I know I do. Sales and retail parties are my favourite. <laughs> you and you at the cafe, right? Jemima, the new manager. Sarah Potts. Craig Valentine. Your doctor's here. Yeah, when we're not busy playing pickup trucks. <laughs> That's really funny, Craig. Hey, well, thanks for that. Better move on. <laughs> hey, um, do you mind me? There's still some food on the floor. Oh, they've got cleaners, don't they? Is she for real? <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> Vinnie and Mark eat your heart out. <laughs> they were invited too, were they? Yeah, they could make it. They're working. Oh, next time, forget the lamb. I'll roast a small wildebeest. <laughs> this really is very good of all. Thank you. Mm. Right. You two. Whatever the problem is, on the table. That is why we are here. It's nothing, Mum. All fixed. Look. <laughs> Smiles at ten paces. Still fit to kill. I know that'd be the cocktails we poured down Andrew's throat last night. <laughs> <laughs> he must be nursing a thumper. <laughs> Just what he needs when his wedding's around the corner. Oh, Mum, it was a stag party. That's the whole point. Oh, Sarah must be getting so excited. Mm. I know I will be when I'm this close. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think Sarah's got a fair bit on her mind what with Daniel's father showing up. Mm. I know, I nursed him. He seemed like a bit of a tough egg. Well, he'd have to be to abandon his child for 13 years. You know nothing about it, Maya. You're lucky you come from a close family. Two parents, lovely sisters. Not that you actually appreciate Mama, them. Mama, please don't start. But I mean it. We're a real family. Not some mishmash of broken marriages and a kid who doesn't know who the heck he is. That's what I've been trying to get through to you girls. How fortunate you are. You mean like me, Yvonne? Product of a divorce? And me, the product of a teenage mum. Was adopted out at birth. Hmm. Nice one, Mum. One strike, two hits. I'm sorry, I didn't know. I, I... Have you ever tried to find her, your birth mum? No point. Aren't you curious? Not really. I mean, I know a bit. Uh, she was from the Waikato, the orcharding district, Dad said. Oh. <laughs> no way, that's where we're from. How old would she be? 50-ish. 
What do you reckon, Mum? Oh, don't ask me. Oh, this meat's a bit dry. I'll get some gravy. Oh, I don't care anyway. My parents are my parents and I'm happy with that. Yeah. Mm. It's a clean green gig. Promoting awareness for global warming. Tonight? Yeah. How many bags? Three. Is it inside or out? Out. Find our stadium. Oh, no, nah, I'm not going to go. It'll be too cold. So you're just going to sit inside and watch TV all night? No. Well, what are we going to do then? I don't know. And who said we? I mean, you can go and throw yourself into some teenage hippie mosh pit if you like. Hey, what did I do? Nothing. You've been acting strange since I got here. What happened this morning? Did Andrew bite your head off or something? No, I'm just bored, OK? Same old, same old. Well, you've left school. You've got some cool new model booking job. Nothing's the same. Except us. Are you saying you're bored with me? No, I'm just being stupid, OK? This thing tonight. I will come. I'll just go out and buy myself a new top first and then that'll cheer me up and keep me warm, OK? Yeah, hard work, you know that. You'd love it. You hardly said two words to Hamish after that whole adoption hoo-ha. I didn't dare, in case I've tripped over some other family skeleton he tucked away. That's not very fair, Mum. It's not his fault he was adopted. Anyway, Hamish wasn't the only person that you offended. Jay's all right. She's used to me. She's used to your prejudices. It doesn't mean she accepts them. You make it sound like it's all my fault. Who was the one who invited Hamish Flynn in the first place without a word of warning? He's new in town. It was a nice thing to do. Mm. You did it to provoke me, Tanya Jeffries, and you know it. It's just that you make it so easy. Oh, Dodge, it's not funny. I go out of my way with you girls. I do everything I can to make sure that you're happy. What are you giving in return? Nothing but disrespect. Come on, Mum. Oh, don't come on me. I've had it with you girls. I've had it with a pair of you. You can just go to Billy-O. So ends another Jeffries family get-together. Too few of far between, they really are. No, it was different. Mum looked like she was going to cry just then. She's not the only one. I've never been so embarrassed. 